All right, guys, we are back. And let's get our partners on the mat and get going face up. Oi, you know if I put this over here? Yeah, no, it's fine. All right, let's see, we'll put it on this bad boy. All right, so we're gonna come, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and start at the feet. I just wanna give a little traction first before coming straight into the glutes. You know, I'm also gonna take this ring off. I just don't wanna pinch my friend, even though he was a little mean. mean. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be nice. I'm so nice. <laughs> Just gonna give a little traction. Let's see, if I'll give it a better view of this. Here we go. Just a little traction. Oh, lean in. I use the the top of my shoulder here on his toes to give just a little stretch. Look over here to the side. I'm gonna loop in with my left foot. Let's go ahead and switch camera angles. So you can see how I lift up. You see how everything's mobilizing? Little peep shaking his head no. He's saying no. <laughs> <laughs> this took me a long time to get this down so if you're getting a little frustrated with finding placement or how it's feeling on your foot just know it's taken me a long time to really feel good in it with some clients it you know it feels a little easier to find for others you know it's it's just a little different so be patient with yourself as you're doing this work go ahead and loop in Get a little higher. My foot was getting a little tired. Uh, I've been doing way too much working out. So I'm gonna kinda, you know, listen to your body. If you have that happen where you start to feel a little tired, you know, take a little break for a second. I'm doing a little compression here at the top of his hip. My left foot is bringing his leg towards me a little bit, just to create a little traction. I'm gonna come back in and do a little more. I just need to give my foot just a little break because it was cramping. Let's come down to the feet. Put this on. And we will bend the leg up. I did that the least smooth way I could. Let me come and show you again. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing here? <laughs> I'm like, I've never even done it this way. So I go ahead and I pick his leg up. And I hook it in. I have a his knee, I'm going to go ahead and let me, I am not as good with the, <laughs> with the angle. So bear with me. So I go ahead and I bring his knee past 90 degree and lean back. Oh, man, that feels so good. As I'm leaning back, I'm doing a little myofascial on the back of his foot across his heel. Bring it towards, find a new spot, lean back. I'll give you a little better angle there so you can see where my foot is, leaning back. Sometimes you might have a client that their ankle is a little loose or maybe it's uncomfortable. So just change up your grip for what you know feels good for them and good for you as well. 
feels great. You can see my hands slowly sliding down. I'm gonna turn my toes, bring his leg out, and hook it on to my leg. I come in with the compression. How's that pressure? Good. I always just check in. If, if it seems like it might be intense, I can feel dense tissue under my foot. Just check in and see if everything's feeling good for your friend, your client, receiver. Just warming the tissue up right now. Big, broad foot, using the arch of my foot. One of the biggest questions I get asked is, how long do you hold, or how do you know how long to hold? And you really, I think you get your best idea of that from receiving this work so you can understand what it feels like. But for every client, that's, it's a little different. So I feel like I've warmed this area up enough. I'm gonna come in with the heel, right in between the muscles. How's that, Robert? I, mean, I can feel the line running out towards my knee. Yeah. With this, once you bust out a sharp tool, I definitely move a little slower. It takes a minute for the body to accept it being there. Then the body will start to release. But I definitely move a little bit slower when I have a more precise, sharp tool. I just keep moving down the leg towards the knee. After this point, I like to grab by the heel. What movement? Just stand up. That wasn't as smooth. Let me try that one more time. How was that? Why am I so awkward today, Robert? All right. So we're here. Oh, there we go. All right. Not quite as smooth as Robert. Also, my hips are not normal. Most men are not going to be able to have their hips respond this way, but I've been doing yoga and Thai massage for years, so my hips and pelvis, like, muscular-wise, are, like, way more open than a lot of guys. When you get to the hamstring stretch, if you take someone from 90 degrees to... Mm -hmm. That's their stretch. Yeah. Yeah. So when you come in, you can just do some palm compressions... There we go. Just being aware that this is uh, pretty intense. Come back and isolate.
So then in one move, I turn. Let me switch camera angles here. Show that one more time. We were here. I turn. All right, and he's resting here on my leg. So at this point, we go ahead and bring the leg up towards and do a big circle. And as I'm bringing the knee across, I'm leaning forward on my left knee so that I'm not reaching out without following, you know, and putting my low back. I, I follow with it. I also have short arms, so maybe someone with longer arms won't have to do that, but that's what I have to do so that I keep my back in good shape. So the Robert, I know he had, oh, he did the stretch. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that stretch. We come across the opposite side and we shock put the foot. Shock put the foot. Compression with the right hand into the hamstring, opposite shoulder, shock put the foot. One of my favorite things though is the a little compression to the hip. So at this point where I have Robert's leg here, I just step through and just do a little pressing. Just say hello. Pay back. <laughs> Bring the leg back and down. Let's come back and give a little length again. And switch sides, come to the opposite side. Hook your right foot underneath. Whoop, you might have to wiggle a little bit to get it out. Left foot, we go ahead, let me see. Perfect. We'll go ahead and hook underneath and lift up. I love the sound effect. I can't help it. I have to give sound effects. That's just a that's just a bonus of sound sounds <laughs> as communication. Yeah. Cracks, I love. I Sonny will be like, it went doop, 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 doop. I'm like, what did it do? Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> I am here for entertainment. I love, I love that. <laughs> so sometimes you'll have your like receiver might be kind of, they, this movement might seem weird to them. They might try to like control their leg. And so if that happens, my right foot will kind of give a gentle nudge back to kind of show them, hey, we're, this is fine. We're just kind of. We're flopping around here as we're softening the glutes. You have a lot of clients who won't let go. Yes, not a lot, but I have more than more than I'd wish. When, you know. When students ask me what I do, I always rock the client. Yeah, if they're holding on, you rock. I rock them more. They don't know I'm doing it. I don't say anything about it. You're rocking them to let go. I just rock them more to let them go. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just and here we are again, my, I am being a whip today. I'm just cramped up from the workout, not enough water. So my foot was saying, nah, take a break. So I'm coming in, just giving it a, a gentle compression. He has no idea that I'm resting. Besides the fact that I just said it, he would have no clue. <laughs> I, I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, come in and give him a little more softening as I'm flopping. One thing I always want to bring attention to is that the top of your foot is bony. That is right. Feel your bone. But if you have a very bony fo foot, some of us are bonier than others. Do be aware that this, these feet, if I might have to turn it more sideways, if my receiver is saying that my bone is stabbing them, you also do need to be aware about underneath the knee. Just make sure you're not anywhere compromising area. 
So I feel like we're good and soft. I'm going to slide out. Let's see if I can do this side a little smoother. You'd think it was my first time. Oh, it's abbreviated too. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to do it in your flow rather than my flow. All right. So we're here with Robert. I go ahead and I just whoop, whoop. All right. <laughs> I literally cannot do it without a sound effect, people. You go for it. I think it's better with one. So I've got my foot right around his knee, right? And I just whoop, into place, new one. And so I, do you notice how I realize, oh, I'm just too far away. So I just scoop my bottom a little closer. Bring the leg past 90 and lean back. How's that pressure? You can see now I've gripped his foot a little differently. Let me change this view. You can cut, yeah. So I was holding his foot kind of like this to where at the same time that I'm working his hamstring, I'm also sliding down the back of his foot doing a little myofascial. My thumb is working the bottom of his foot as well. That, my friend, is the beautiful part about Thai massage is how many different points we can work at the same time taking our receiver, just giving them complete bliss. And that is when you fall in. <laughs> Feels so good, I cannot stay awake. It's when Robert shuts up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Find a new spot. Once again, we're going about halfway. And see, I'm about at that part where it's just kind of like, eh, what's happening here? So I'm going to do one more good pull here. And then I'm going to flip my toes. And open. I hook his toes in here. And sometimes you still might need to adjust your bottom a little bit. The, between you and the receiver, the way your body's fit will always be different. So just keep that in mind that you just have to make a little bit of changes. No big deal. So I have my leg completely straightened. How's the pressure, Robert? Good. I'm looking at his eyes and they are wide open. He is alive. If your arms get tired of leaning back, you can always sit up, kind of hold the foot. Switch hands, kind of use it as a handle if you don't feel like leaning back on your wrist or you just feel like, honestly, this feels like it's maybe a little bit more of an intense compression now that I've sat up and I'm pulling on the foot like this. Slightly more. Scoop my bottom towards him just slightly. And I have learned how to make my little scoots slowly as I work. Those are just things that you kind of iron out as you do this work over and over. All right, let's see if I can be smooth this time. But first, we'll come in just a little bit more. The good thing is the clients don't know. Mm. They don't know what it's supposed to be like anyway. Yep, no idea. So I'm like, all right, Robert feels like he's softened up. We'll go ahead and come in with our heel, right in between the muscles. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit because I did scoot up on him. I'm kind of hooking under in between. 
Yeah, and again, it runs straight up behind my knee. Like you're pressing there, but I feel that line. I like to slowly back out. We did just go general to specific, but we always want to slowly come out just as like you like to slowly lean in abrupt moves, especially when you're using a sharp tool are hard to receive and hard to relax in if you're not going slow in and out. And as I'm pushing in, I'm, I, I can feel myself kind of torquing with my hips. You can't even see on the screen the movement because it's so slight. I literally just sit like this and just kind of push a little more with that hip. I just feel like I need a little bit more oomph, you know? That's the thing about the video and, and that you guys sitting down and giving and receiving this to actually be able to feel and then, you know, be able to forgive these slight moves that you can barely see with the eye to understand that will make understanding all the rest of the work so much more. I think it'll make it more clear to you how specific it can be and how slight and small the movements can be, which feel huge when you're receiving. All right. So here we are. I am going to, wapa. there we are. That was smooth, huh? So just gonna lean in. You see how the back foot is following me? Just do a little hands-free leaning. Like the last time you can come in and just give some compressions, big broad compressions. I'm gonna get my little pad here. Put this back on my arm. Better video there. And we'll come in and just kind of lean between the two. Just being very aware that this can be pretty intense. Just go slow, be intentional with where you place your palms. All right, this we're going to go ahead and switch it over, right? Big circles. Oh, my back feels better. Big pop there for Robert. Got a nice natural adjustment. Let me show. There we go. Show how I'm leaning. We'll do this little hamstring stretch, shock put, bring the knee to the opposite shoulder, shock put the foot. Knee, shock put the foot. Like Art said, everyone is different with how flexible they are, how much they can get done. We meet our receiver where they are. We don't try to force, force them past their limits. So like I said, I like to come back to a little circle. I like to bring across. We bring to camera one. All right. So we're here, right? I just did a big circle. I use my right hand just to kind of hold in place. Step my right foot through. And then I do some palm. 
Let me switch to camera. Here we go. Palm to the hip. Oh, this is so nice. Just a nice hello. And when you're done, without kicking your partner, you bring the leg back through. <laughs> you know. I know I'm big about tractioning. I just I love to give length. So I might give a little foot compression, say goodbye. I hope your legs and glutes feel a little better, your hips, your lumbar muscles. I hope they're all feeling pretty, pretty good. If you guys ever have any questions, you know, we don't answer or respond live, but feel free. Let us know. Have you watched this live? Are you rewatching it? And one thing I'm really curious of, where are you from? I'm curious where we are reaching. But if you ever have any questions, leave them below, you know, on the video and we can get back to you. But, um, Thank you so much for watching with us today and uh, Ty jamming it up with us. Yeah. So we'll see you guys um, again soon. We're trying to keep a fairly consistent schedule. It'll, you know, change a little bit over time, but we think that this time is probably the best for our U.S. viewers. Yeah. If you want to go back through any of the videos, I'll add this to a playlist for the Time Massage Jam here on the channel. So you can go through and watch any of the previous episodes and cover something new. Each time we have a jam, we'll take like a slightly different focus some slightly different anatomy and just keep working with you in an interactive way. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you again real soon. Awesome. Bye guys. Thank you.